Welcome to an epic journey through Earth's deep history. We will explore how changing climates and environments on Earth have influenced the evolution of living organisms, focusing on past glacial events. Several times in Earth's distant past, global climates were considerably colder than they are now. One of the most severe of these cold climate events occurred towards the end of the Precambrian during the Proterozoic Eon between 900 and 600 million years ago. This prolonged interval of time witnessed at least three episodes of global scale cooling, namely the Stortian, Marinoan and Gaskier's glaciations. The evidence suggests that during this time the Earth became so extremely cold that ice sheets grew to cover the entire planet, extending from the poles right down to the equator. For this reason, this interval is commonly referred to as Snowball Earth. Global glaciation of this scale and intensity has not been seen since the late Precambrian, and conditions were likely disastrous for life. Despite this, life evidently rebounded, and the fundamentally important transition from single-celled organisms to larger, more complex, multicellular creatures appears to have occurred during this interval. We move forward in time to the late Ordovician glaciation, which took place approximately 443 million years ago. Water became locked up in a very large ice sheet that centered on the South Pole. This resulted in a fall in global sea levels and also surface water temperatures. Prior to this glacial event, marine life had been thriving on the Earth. Biodiversity in the seas had literally exploded during the Cambrian and Ordovician periods. This all drastically changed with the onset of the late Ordovician glaciation. Many marine ecosystems, especially in the shallow tropical seas, became uninhabitable. A diverse array of marine animal groups, such as trilobites, brachiopods, and graptolites were badly affected by this glaciation and extinctions became widespread. This event has been termed the end Ordovician mass extinction, one of the largest and most severe mass extinctions of all time. This is the only one of the five great mass extinctions that has been clearly linked to ice house conditions on Earth. The late Paleozoic Ice Age was a protracted cooling event which took place between the Carboniferous and Permian periods. It began 340 million years ago, with a small ice sheet initially developing in the Southern Hemisphere in early Carboniferous times. This ice sheet formed due to a global drop in temperatures caused by a decrease in atmospheric CO2. This decrease may have occurred due to the rise in the land plants and the establishment of the first forests on Earth. Through photosynthesis, this new ecosystem drew down, for the first time, vast amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide, replacing it with oxygen. By the early Permian, ice sheets had spread across the southern hemisphere over much of the Gondwanian supercontinent. During the late Paleozoic Ice Age, in the sea, the diversity of marine fauna rose and fell, almost in sync with the waxing and waning of the ice sheets. Many found their way into new ecological niches in order to survive. On land, the tropical forest dominated. However, plants that were resilient adapted to survive in much drier conditions which followed. The most recent glaciation occurred during the Pleistocene Epoch, 2.6 million years ago. Ice sheets repeatedly formed and retreated, leading to a series of glacial interglacial climate cycles. As ice sheets grew, sea levels dropped, creating land bridges which facilitated the migration of mammals across the continents. At the time, the Bering Land Bridge connected North America and Asia. The Pleistocene witnessed some very important events in human evolution including the first migration of hominins out of Africa. Their subsequent spread around the world has been linked to climate change and their success attributed to the increased levels of intelligence and mastery of improved stone tool technologies. 
we bring ourselves back to the present day on Earth, where yet again a substantial change in our planet is occurring. Profound changes in climate have driven evolution throughout Earth's history. Remarkably, the cold climate phases explored in this film all left an inevitable impression on the evolution of life, sometimes driving catastrophic mass extinctions, but also sometimes stimulating the evolution of new forms. At the moment, we are experiencing a human-induced climate change, with greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere at a rate faster than ever before. What will the effect be this time?